Welcome back. Unfortunately, the council is unwilling to take down CERN unless we can come up with concrete evidence of his involvement in the attack on Eden Prime. And we have two leads to um, deal with that. We can either talk to um, Garrus, and in order to find him we need to talk to Harkin, um, at a place called Cora's Den in the Lower Wards. Alternatively, we could talk to uh, an agent for the Shadow Broker called Barla Vaughn, who we can find um, at the bank in the financial district of the Presidium. And we saw Garrus earlier talking to Executor Palin, and he definitely seemed to be on to something, so that might be a, a good lead. Despite uh, Captain Anderson's reservations about Harkin, I think that's probably our best bet. We also have our main mission, um, Expose Saren, of which these two are sub-missions, I guess. We're still in the council chambers, having just finished uh, our audience with the council, who stand over there, while we stand over here. It's kind of set up to make the council seem really important, and everybody else really insignificant. I'm thinking they do that on purpose. So, this is where the Council passes judgment on all us little folk, huh? Ever get the feeling we're in over our heads, Commander? All the time. This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of galactic power. Kinda makes your head spin if you think about it too much. Yeah, thinking's probably not your strong point, is it? All right, let's um, move on and see if we can find that Harking. Up to something. What guy? That guy. The one over by the keeper. He's right there, in front of you. He's not that hard to spot. Let's see what he's up to. Hmm, not enough data yet. I thought we weren't supposed to interfere with the, the keepers. Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Oh, that's not suspicious at all. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Hmm. Sounds like something we might be able uh, to help with. And uh, who knows, we might make some money in the process. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I wonder what his interest in all of this is, by the way, before we start doing stuff to help him with illegal uh, scans and whatever. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I can respect that. Seems like a good enough reason. And it is kind of weird that these creatures are here um, keeping the Citadel operational, and we know nothing about them. I should get going, then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. I would say that if the galactic community ever wants to um, evolve beyond just using Profian technology, 
they need to learn how some of this stuff actually works, like the Keepers, the Citadel, the Mass Relays, the whole shebang. So this would be um, a useful first step. Despite the fact that uh, Chorben was just scanning this particular Keeper, you can still scan him, and we get 11 XP and 30 credits. The way this game works, the, uh, actually the higher your level is, the more money and XP you get for doing small assignments like this. So if, uh, if you wait with this assignment until later, then you will get more money for it. However, by that time, things will also be more expensive, so it sort of uh, works out the same anyway. This is uh, quite a nice assignment in, uh, to get a decent amount of XP, though. And it also gives you an incentive to explore every nook and cr cranny of the um, Citadel. Kind of like the marker quests of Uru Tudani. Of course, this shows up in our um, journal under assignments, because it's not a plot-related mission. Chorban, a Solarian scientist, has discovered a way to scan the Keepers. But the Citadel authorities do not like people disturbing the insect-like creatures. You offered to help Chorban, and he gave you a scanning device. Each time you scan a Keeper, the data will be sent to him automatically. There are 21 Keepers in total. Uh, I think that you get a bonus of some extra XP and money if you, once you finish it. And we've just scanned one. I think I should be able to... Uh, find all of them without cheating. They're not that hard to find. A number of them are located here in the council chambers. So before we leave, let's make sure that we got all of those. I think there's one up here. Yes. Like I said, good excuse to get everywhere. Chorban is a Solarian, much like uh, one of the councillors. So, Solarians are a council race, like the Asari and the Turians. Actually, I don't know if you've noticed, but the uh, Solarian councillor was voiced by Armin Shimmerman, who you might know as Quark from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. No keepers on this side. Or, perhaps, as um, Principal Snyder from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I think we can uh, run a bit here. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Council's assistants. Rear Admiral Kohoku is waiting to speak with one of the Council's assistants, apparently. Commander. When he doesn't have anything to say about it. Another keeper. Solarian and a Turian. Standing here. Apparently in conversation, but not one we can overhear, it seems. No. I just want to ask a couple of questions. Whenever you have someone who you can overhear, they will typically have a set uh, of lines, and every time you walk by them, they will say a different one. No, I haven't spoken to him before. This is the first time I've requested an audience. Doesn't really matter how long you wait. I mean, now he's just saying them in sequence. I guess I wasn't far enough away. Yeah, I'll wait. Doesn't seem like I have I don't know what he's doing, but he's not having much success with it. Anyway. If you, um... Uh, leave and come back much later. He'll just continue with the next line of whatever he was saying, as if no time had passed. Literally, this guy will be standing there for days and days and days, trying to get in contact with the counselor's um, assistance. No keepers here. Nothing else of interest either. Hi there, human. What are you doing? Nothing. Maybe. But I wouldn't believe everything you hear. That's just it. I'm hearing it everywhere. It's not just isolated rumors. 
Do you really think Saren could be involved in something like that without the Council knowing it? Maybe the Council does know. Everyone already assumes he's just doing their dirty work. That's dangerous talk. I'd be careful who you mention that to. I know. But if it's true, shouldn't we be doing something about it? No. And I'll thank you to keep me out of it if you do. Since he seems to have heard rumors about Saren being involved in something, you'd think we'd want to talk to him, but, well, we can't. Do they have more to say about this? It's kind of hard to figure out how far away you need to get. Okay, well, well, we might hear more from them next time we pass by them. Another keeper! Or apparently they just have nothing more to say. Also entirely possible. I like that the council room is basically a park. Random Turian standing here. But what we are interested in is whether or not there are any keepers on this side. Doesn't look like it. The council room is basically symmetric. The keepers are, of course, not deployed symmetrically. Because that wouldn't make any sense. I think that's all of them in the council room anyway. So let's head back down the elevator. Of course I could use Citadel Rapid Transit, but I'm gonna be using the uh, elevator for the time being because of the conversations and news items you get, which of course I do want you to hear. And I want to hear them too. Besides, there's a couple of missions you can find out about by using the elevators. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. Pretty much. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Yep. You already said that. Well, you said you hate politicians, but I think uh, hatred of politics is inferred from that. Hey, a keeper. Let's scan him. I don't think there's any more keepers on... Please do not disturb the keepers. I was only scanning him. I don't think there's any more keepers on this side. And we want to go to the... Um, to Cora's Den to talk to Harkin. Barlavon would actually be closer, but I'm going to Cora's Den. Damn you. I prefer doing it that way. You can do it either way. You're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. What's going on here? This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the Enkindlers to be spread. 